Why do you keep saying there's like discrimination when I tell people I'm anti vax or I haven't been vaccinated? I'm a what are you talking about? What the fuck? New Castillo? Yeah. Pharmacist. And when they put in with the COVID vaccination, I just felt really uncomfortable. It's just made me open my eyes to how many things are in vaccine. Bro, we've seen too many. I'm not going to say that. And how much we don't discuss them in the medical community. My anti is toward COVID vaccines. Actually, truth be told, the rapid test we just took was the first COVID test I've ever taken. <laughs> I refused to take a COVID test. The vaccine was pushed so that they could rig the election, and that's personally my belief. So you believe the... How would... The election was rigged? I, how, where is the correlate? I believe it was, yes. Cool. Growing up, I got most of my vaccines. However, I especially did not want to get the COVID vaccine. The media censorship was the biggest. Why she dressed like that? Everybody else normal as fuck, and you dress like you going to the opera. She's fine. I don't care what y'all say. I'm really not beating, like, the, 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 the Sean only wants Asian allegations, though. But they just keep coming up. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell you. His start to me kind of like he said, waking up to this. We know ourselves better than going into a doctor who only sees us for a few minutes at a time. You said you were a pharmacist? Yeah. Uh, did you leave your work? You kind of implied that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with the increase. Nigga said, I know the body better than a doctor. Increase of the vaccine mandate. And you just went from a nine to like, well, from an eight to like a... 7.9 and having it required for the rest of the chain um so i actually have a family member that does work from home from an independent mail order pharmacy and she got me a gig there and since then things have been pretty chill so you left willingly they didn't like ask you to leave yeah so i used to actually i started as a teacher in elementary school and they actually asked me to leave because so this is really a competition of like who can be the most stupid and prove it and make it believable it was mandated that you had to be vaccinated to be in like a group of kids so that was really frustrating for me because working with kids is a big passion of mine and the fact that i was fired from my career just because who's of the, the dumbest voice nigga? Was like really upsetting to me yeah. so that's why i'm very passionate about this issue now i was actually asked to leave nursing school i started for a month and then they accepted my religious exemption and then a month into it said never mind so yeah i looked out because i go to i go to college in uh, oregon and uh, at first they were like, no, you can't come in here without a vaccine and everything, but I was able to get the philosophical exemption. And then they wanted to test me weekly. And I was like, no, like, like I'm not doing that. And then um, after kind of going back and forth, they were like, okay, like you're fine. Oh, it Bro, what would be the problem, even if you didn't want to get vaccinated, what would be the problem with you getting tested weekly? How, why is that a problem? What's wrong with that? At least you would know if you had it. No one's telling you that you still have to get vaccinated, but at least you can go the fuck home. What the fuck? Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs>I don't know who I, I don't believe. Wrote Brian, because in the waiting room we were joking that his name was Brian and not Ryan, and then I. That's okay. Okay. What? He was able to get a philosophical exemption, which I had never heard of. There's no way. Wait, what did she just say? He was able to get a philosophical exemption, which I had never heard of. Philosophical exemption, do those do those exist? I don't think they do. Okay, it is. No? I feel like I've heard it before. I swear to God, I feel like I've heard that before. Like in some in some spots. I, I swear to God, I've heard it. There's no way you could get away with not having a COVID test. Most people have gone through at least one by now. We've been like two years in. I actually believe Ryan is that I stupid. I could not believe that I got voted out first round. <laughs> if anybody is the mole, it's not me. That's for sure. How has a... Uh not being vaccinated affected like your guys' personal relationships like friends and family i had to miss a wedding that i was really excited for for one of my friends back in indiana she ultimately decided to ask everyone to be vaccinated because her grandparents were there which i completely understood but it was really heartbreaking to not be a part of that special day with her you're not this stupid bro you're too you're, you're too cute to be this stupid i just i just can't i don't believe it yeah 
one side of my family refused to see me, so that was kind of disheartening. And I feel like people. Talk- I believe she is only because she came fitted up like this. You know what I'm saying? So she's probably being honest and truthful about her stupidity. I certain political views to my personal idea not to get vaccinated. I'm not a right and a right wing extremist, which I feel like a lot of people are associating me with. I am not just someone who is not vaccinated. I actually have natural immunity. I have contacted the virus before and um, multiple studies have shown that natural immunity actually lasts longer as far as resilience to um, contacting COVID again. Actually, I think they literally proved that that wasn't true for the new strains, but go off. The right to our own body is um, the opposite of tyranny that would normally be associated with that. Yeah, Yeah, I'm very libertarian leaning. Heck yeah. My ideas aren't like I line up. He said I'm a believer. For me, it's just we should have the ability to, you know, decide what we want to do. Yeah, and I just think it's scary too when the government starts to say like they're doing this for your own health and their safety. And it's just funny like how all of a sudden the government started caring about your health. Wouldn't they have banned like smoking cigarettes like years ago? Like it it just seemed like a. Well, no, you just you still have a choice though. Like they, she's she's saying it like they're they're, they're they're like they're going and running into your home and saying you have to get this or else we're gonna kill you or some shit like that. You just have to deal with the social ramifications of not being vaccinated. But that's it. A lot of censorship too, like to not be able to. You can smoke if you want to, just like you can walk around and be unvaccinated if you want to. You like find any other information but just like when you smoke niggas gonna be like ew you disgusting <laughs> just like being unvaccinated niggas gonna be like okay i don't want to be around you you could kill me or give me something that could kill someone i know i don't know about like side effects i have a few friends who had like some bad side effects but you can't once you post that out there it's censored. she could be lying yeah. though she could be an amazing thousands actress. of reports yes. of people with like yes. vaccine side effects and people pretend like that's not a reality and i think it's interesting how they care about our health and everything but they say nothing about nutrition sunlight uh working out going to the gym what do you mean they say nothing about that you didn't learn about okay nothing about nutrition sunlight uh working out going to the gym getting outside and being around people that love you and stuff like that like that's good for your health instead they lock us in in a room uh with like artificial lighting and paint and and don't get sunlight and don't get to talk to people nigga we yeah, and then they put a mask on us, which is not healthy at all. Nico was throwing out a lot of buzzwords. Uh, he kept saying pandemic, and I think he said jab. Very much so it looked like he was making a character, <laughs> and he was really trying to hit all the, the buttons. I was teaching first grade, and a lot of those kids, because of the COVID lockdowns, they had never had any social experience for the past two years. And to act like that isn't detrimental to their social health, to their mental health, it very Where frustrates you me. What? San Bernardino County. Okay. I was saying, I personally don't think that it's really anybody's business. Bro, have you spoken this whole video? What the fuck? I didn't even know she was here anymore. If yeah. I've been vaccinated or not, and I don't think that I should not be able to go certain places, eat certain places, or even enroll my kids in school. I don't believe her either. She's not this stupid. I don't believe it. I because don't believe they it. haven't been vaccinated. It's just... She's a mole. It's not... It's not fair, and it's like really nobody's business. She's the mom. My my health. She don't even look like she believed the shit coming out of her mouth. There's no way. None of your your kids don't have any. There's no way. Right? I have. I've never had like going getting into school. Uh, Well, they're three. I don't believe it. So she's they're not old enough yet. But um, yeah, I haven't been vaccinated either, and it it hasn't affected me in any way. Um, When I get sick, I get sick for like one or two days, and then I'm done. I'm back healthy, and I only get sick maybe like two times a year. You said that you moved down to California? Get her yeah. out of here, bro. I'm trying to get it's out of here. I'm trying to get out of California. Yeah, it's so her. Why did you move yeah. to California if it's so hard to go for For sure, yeah. So uh, it has to be. lived in Texas for like 10 years. Uh, then I moved to Oregon for school. And then uh, I got a job offer um, as an internship here in California. Mm-hmm. And honestly, like, yeah, all the mandates and everything I don't like. But, I mean, it's California. It's kind of like that kind of the dream to come and live here so i'm trying to switch with you i want to go to texas <laughs> <laughs> yeah for sure. like yeah i'll, I'll take be your old spot i'll take wait 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 uh, years uh then i moved to oregon for school and then uh, i got a job offer um as an internship here in california mm-hmm. and honestly like yeah all the mandates and everything i don't like but i mean it's california it's kind of like that kind of the dream to come and live here so i'm trying to- why would you go to california what you do. I want to go to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. I'll take I'll your old spot. I'll take sure. your own spot. Yeah. He 
went to university in Oregon and somehow I want to believe she's not I just want to believe she's the mom cuz just don't be please wasn't required to get vaccinated there Come on why would someone move from a more conservative area to a liberal area That's what I'm saying <laughs> It's got to be Nico in an orange oh shirt. It has to be. If you think the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. Can I ask who everybody voted for in the elections? I voted for... Oh, you're talking about the actual election? Yes. Oh, I voted for Trump. Again, like, I'm libertarian. That isn't really my... I'm not a Republican, but he definitely was a better choice over what we have now. How about everyone? Yeah, I'm libertarian as well, and I, I actually believe that neither of the candidates were good, and I did not feel comfortable supporting either of them, so I did not vote. Right, I didn't vote either. I haven't okay. voted in like two years. I haven't voted okay. either. I felt really uncomfortable with just how nasty everything was getting. Everything kept getting more increasingly cloudy, I felt like, as the election yes. came closer and closer. So I just didn't feel like I had enough information regarding either of them to confidently cast a ballot. I get that. I mean, they're both really divisive, but like, no, they're both horrible you know, the people. Effects matter. And like seeing especially what's going on now. I mean, we might not like either of the candidates, one of them getting in and we got to do our best, you know, to get the, the least of two evils. I think that is important. I mean, I personally voted for Trump. Um, I actually worked on uh, his campaign because I actually do. Um, I don't like everything he says, but I like his policies um, and I believe that he allows people to live their lives and doesn't try to get involved with all of your business. Wait, so you said you worked on his campaign. Did you, you guys didn't have to get vaccinated for that or? So that was a 2016 was campaign. 2016, mm -hmm. okay, okay. I don't think he would have required it for the 2020 one, but I, I would worked at the 2016 one, okay. didn't do anything for the 2020. Asabi, I wanted to ask you more about your stance because we mentioned earlier that in general, you don't feel like it's anyone's business. We kind of touched on autonomy. I wanted to hear more about why you specifically decide not to vaccinate yourself and your children. So I grew up very like uh, religious, I guess you could say. And my belief like vaccines are like a no-go. Like we don't believe that um, <clears throat> we should put po like poison in our bodies. I don't, I don't believe it, bro. And like, we think that we should just handle everything in a holistic way, so. She was like, religion, religious reason. Is she thinking about this on the spot? And 1 Corinthians 2.5 says, you know, our faith shouldn't be trusted in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Exactly. And so for me, it's like, that doesn't mean that like man has ultimate wisdom, but like what they try to push of like, this is what you need to do. Like that automatically throws red flags for me. Bro, you know what's crazy? And I'm not laughing at him at all. I swear to God. I just... For me, it's like you, back when, you know, in Pharaoh Relax. In those days, they were killing babies. And then with the vaccine, it's like, I, I just don't trust it because yeah. you're trying to mandate something that could possibly harm or kill someone. And As a like pharmacist, I know how much Big Pharma puts money in this constantly. The left for so long has been, oh, we're against Big Pharma. And then all of a sudden they jump in and it's like, that. everyone needs to listen to what Pfizer says. Everyone needs to listen to what Moderna and Jason says. Bro, like, he got to stop putting his hands together because he could really, like, completely just, like, fool anybody. Yeah. She said that she was very much into the pharmaceutical industry. Kind of said she wasn't very political and i feel like at this point it is kind of um, a political statement if you are not vaccinated how did she get out if you feel like the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue playing the game it's her it has to be you need a majority vote and since it's just bro you're wearing a self-love shirt bro that means you're somewhat aware of mental health that means you actually think you can't be in the box two of you it can't instead, be instead we're gonna ask can you share your suspicions let's air it out and let's have a conversation i know it was nico that's number one <laughs> yeah just because i think he was throwing out buzzwords like he developed the character and he also talked about how he didn't have to get the vaccine at first in oregon go to college in uh, oregon i was pretty confident it was nico i don't know who the other person would be i don't okay. suspect anyone else i think it was ryan too honestly because yeah. ryan when he first said this is the first COVID test i've ever taken i trust you I do trust you, but you do seem very much like you've researched a lot. Neither of you guys voted also in the election, you said, correct? Right. I do find right. that kind of interesting just because I feel like it is so polarized. I'm yeah. totally with you on that mentality, but 
like just being around a lot of libertarian circles, there are a lot of people. And you guys both kind of said you're libertarian, right? There I really, are, I honestly don't really have a strong political view, honestly. Where we are now in the world, it's it almost is a statement to not be vaccinated. Now it's not just like, oh, I wasn't provided enough information. I wasn't, you can go to CVS and get it for free. So you are kind of making a political statement whether you like it or not, if you aren't vaccinated. I assume most of us don't agree with the mainstream media. Well, you making a political statement with this ass sweater or this jacket thing you got on, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That tells me everything I need to know. Yeah. Or like watch a lot of that because obviously there's a narrative that's pushed there. So I was gonna ask what type of media outlets do you guys I consume? Follow um, the Daily Wire, Matt Walsh, Ben Shapiro, Wet Candace Ass Owens. Um, those are probably like the people I listen to the most. The um, Daily Wire I've had a, a little bit of trouble with because Ben Shapiro has really like promoted vaccines. Yeah, so yeah I, like, I, I, do like I Candace, disagree with that part. I like yeah. Candace Owens, but yeah, I don't know. I've kind of gone on and off with Ben Shapiro. But I like Steven Crowder. Uh, I like Dr. Robert Malone, Hank Pecker. There's a lot of different streamers and uh, media outlets that I think do push a more like, you should be able to choose what you want for your own body. She worked in the medical field, um, and that is an area where you do have to typically be vaccinated. I think being anti-vax is a big political statement, so that looked a little off to me. I'm not about to say what I was about to say, bro. Uh... No, I mean, yes, but like, no. I, you know what? I don't care if she's not vaxxed. I'll take my chances. I was pretty bummed. I thought I had spoken pretty well about my beliefs, so I was surprised. If the lights turn Candace red, Owens is crazy. that means a mole is still in the box and you lose. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted the mole out and you win. not me it's you it's you <laughs> it's, it's gotta you. be you i think it's mad so what the, the fuck count of three i'm gonna ask the two moles to step out and reveal themselves oh there's two one two I should have I should have known it was Mason. Going into it, I was like, okay, he and I are in a, a, like we have an alliance, like we're good. He definitely sold me, so like, well done, my friend. I'm very politically engaged. I knew though, but I knew I knew I knew that Katie was too good to be to like I knew it was too good. Like there was no way someone of her stature and caliber could have been this stupid. I, I we, we 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 knew this. I've had a lot of conversations with people. We knew know, this. You know whether or not people should get vaccines, whether or not there should be government mandates. We knew this, okay? I've heard a lot of opinions on both sides. My goal here was to kind of just be really subtle about it and kind of just sow doubt in the vaccine, not really take a hard mm -hmm. stance on like a pandemic or like- Maury, what's the at? Like microchips, you know, that extreme wing, because I don't think anyone really here is on that, you know, spectrum. Honestly, I said that because I was trying to get some points because I thought like, if I say pandemic, I'm good to go. What the f- Okay, wait, though. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait a second. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Middle ground is... Wait, wait, wait. I just finished the video first. Yeah, um... I, I don't know how. I don't know how. Pharmacists, I actually was a part of... Why do you have that? I don't know. ...to vaccinate. I went to nursing homes, put vaccine in arms. Um, a big part of my experience with that is just seeing how much of a toll COVID has taken on my fellow healthcare workers. I have people that work in the ED and see how tragic that is. One of my closest friends- What do you mean she's lesbian? Don't do that. Nah, please no. I don't see a flip. Oh, oh my God, is this your girlfriend, bro? Oh my fucking God, man. This is just like, bro, what's up, man? I'm DMing anyway. No, I'm not. That's me. Oh, my God.
What? What? 